So we've looked at multiple iPhone cases in the past. They all do sort of different things. They all have their unique quirks and features. But what if you need more? Today, we're going to be looking at a Swiss Army knife iPhone case. What it does, it replaces a Swiss Army knife and combines it with your phone to allow you to just do everyday things. It's versatile. It's good. It's a premium case. That's what it says on the box. We're going to check it out. So this is the Oli XR X Ranger premium smartphone case. Now, what this does, it essentially combines a Swiss Army knife with your phone in one sleek package. Now, this is only 30 bucks, so it should be good. I'm expecting 30 bucks worth of quality. We'll see what happens. Now, it does say it's an iPhone. It's an iPhone X tough case, but on the front of the box, it shows an iPhone 7 slash 8. So hopefully it's the right one. If it's not, I'm going to be disappointed because that's what we paid for. Here we go. Cut the slit, you open it, and then you open it again. And of course, here you are. Oh, it even comes with its own multi-function tool. We'll look into that in a sec. So here's the actual case itself. In terms of build quality, it feels like it's a, it's a silicon rubber medium-ish hard plastic case. It's okay, nothing too special about it. In terms of functionality, there's a little tiny flap down here, which you can use to prop up your actual phone. Now, it showed on the box that a bunch of things are supposed to come out of it, like a Swiss Army knife. When I'm looking at the phone, I don't see those functions. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. We'll see what else is inside. So, like I said before, there is this one tool that comes with it. Managed to pull it out. Ooh, this. That's metal. So, I believe this is a Swiss Army part of it. Now, it doesn't actually fold out of your phone, like it said on the box, but it does slide in to that place there at the bottom. So, it has a screwdriver, ruler, cell phone stand, bottle opener, screwdriver, keyhole ring, cable peeler, saw blade, can opener, butterfly watch, hex wrench, side knife, hex wrench again, another knife blade, and then a cable bender. So, this is everything in one. It's kind of weird. I'm a bit disappointed. I thought it'd be more like a Swiss Army knife where you can pull out different tools, but it's not. You just, you just get this pretty decent quality metal tool. So let's pull this out carefully because that is a knife blade right there. See, this doesn't, this doesn't feel like it could replace a Swiss Army knife. The knife, it's dull. It's a bit disappointing. It's just like a small wedge. I mean, if you press hard enough, of course you'll cut something that does not replace a Swiss Army knife. Now, let's see how an iPhone XS fits inside of the case. So it slides in just like a normal silicone case. Feels pretty secure. It feels like a good case. If, if it was just a normal case, it'd feel good. You feel like there's a lot of protection. One thing I noticed is that there's also a lip on the front of the screen so that when you put it face down, it prevents it from getting scratched or cracked if it lands on a flat surface, which is a good touch. The camera cutout seems pretty good. There's a large space around it. I guess they didn't want it to be like too tight in case it didn't work. So let's put this tool inside. Let's see how it inserts. Another thing to keep in mind when you're inserting this tool on both sides of the tool is a knife edge, which I think is a bit of a concern because either way, when you're pulling it out, you're going to be touching a knife or a sharp edge. So let's put it in this way. See, when I'm pushing it in, I feel the spikes. I feel the spikes. That's, that's a concern. All right, we're sliding this in. It is, it's in, you close it, there you go. Now, is this, you couldn't take this on an airport, could, you couldn't take this on a plane. No, what would happen if you put this through the scanner? You'd get pulled over. That's not good, that's not good. So, for an actual case, it's pretty good. In terms of the actual tool that comes with it, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, I'm very disappointed. The way it was, okay, come on. Come on, get, what? Now it's stuck inside, and if I pull harder, it's gonna stab myself. Okay, well, there we go. That is not what was advertised. I was expecting a Swiss Army knife. This is, this is some thick metal. I mean, it's not bad, it feels good quality, you know. 
I'm disappointed. You disappointed? I'm disappointed. I wouldn't get this. There are a couple flaws with this case, like I mentioned before. One of the biggest ones that Nathan just pointed out is that this, every time you want to use this, you have to pull it out of the bottom. Sometimes it gets stuck, like when I first tried it. Sometimes it won't, but that's just a pain in the butt. It'd be better off just getting a card reader, you know, card slot. You slide this into the card slot, you pull it out. Does this, this pretty much, this is one of those wallet utensils. You put this in your wallet. That's what it is. I can't recommend it. 30 bucks, it's not worth it. I mean, you can just get a cheap Swiss Army knife. That'd be better off than just using this. Like, I don't even know. How would you even saw something with it? This is meant to, this is meant to be like a tree saw to cut wood. You're not gonna saw nothing with that, like. Yeah, no, I don't think so. In terms of the knife edge, my unboxing knife is sharper than this. So, can't recommend it, 30 bucks. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Let us know if you'd actually use this product. I wouldn't, I don't think this is useful at all. Get a Swiss Army knife, stick it in your pocket, and subscribe if you're new.